The average American produces one ton of waste per year, and half of that ends up in landfills. The planet's running out of space for all the trash we're making. Enter James Burgett, a man with a simple and obvious solution to the garbage crisis. Reuse stuff instead of throwing it away. He's the big boss here at Aftermath Technologies, where they're giving garbage a new lease on life. Today, I'm in Berkeley, California at Aftermath Technologies, and we're converting this 1968 Cadillac hearse to run on 100% clean-burning propane. But what's really amazing is that everything we're using has been salvaged from the junkyard. And the reason for this radical rubbish resuscitation? Maker Fair, an annual gathering of techno freaks and geeks where they get to show off their hardcore homemade experiments. Okay. For the monster task we have in front of us, James has pulled parts straight from a rusted out Ford van, a couple of retired forklifts, a stripped out Lincoln Continental, and an old school bus. So this thing was trash, you said. It was destined for the junkyard. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do to it? Here. Oh, is this for me? Yes. <laughs> That's most of the propane conversion equipment right there. This is the uh, vaporizer. This is what converts the liquid propane to, to gaseous propane. OK. Propane is the perfect fuel for this conversion, a byproduct of natural gas processing and petroleum refining. It's cheaper, cleaner burning, and has a much higher octane than gas, which will make this old hearse purr. First, we have to remove the fuel line. The next step is to mount the mixer vaporizer unit to the carburetor. This will prevent engine damage by converting the cold liquid propane into warmer gaseous propane. We put this hose to that tank, turn the key, turn the valve, wait a few minutes, turn the key, car starts. You got the tank over there, the line's going in, mm -hmm. line's fully charged. As far as I can tell. So uh, let's light it up. Turn keys. Now that the engine conversion's complete and the tank's mounted, I can't wait to see how James will customize the body for Maker Fair. And finally, it's Maker Fair or bust. Welcome to Maker Fair. Come on in. What is this? Well, if you were around 60 years ago, this is a gasifier like they ran in World War II. Are you running this engine off of wood? Coffee grounds, hair, your fingernails, rubber, your tires. We were trying to prove that you could build something out of junk, you can put any waste biomass in it and make your car run. James would love this thing. Let's go find him. Not only does James's propane hearse look fierce, he's dropped his emissions by 70%. Who ever thought that a Cadillac hearse could be considered a green automobile? James Burgett and the folks here at Maker Fair have taught us that yesterday's trash may be our means to a sustainable future.